I'm reporting to you live from the Asin North constituency, precisely from Asin India, where the by-elections currently are going on. According to what we have gathered this morning, um, elections started exactly at 7 a.m. Um, according to the presiding officer here, the materials came in on time and then at exactly 7 a.m. the voting began. We would speak to the presiding officer and take what he has. My name is Frank Boachi Iadom, the presiding officer for India Community Center A and B. We have two polling stations at the moment. I think we came here quarter to six o'clock and we are able to put our things in order. Every materials were given to us and the place was set before seven o'clock. We engaged with the security personnel and the EC officials. We had a pep talk about the rules and regulations regarding. At the end of the day, we also talked to the general public about what they are supposed to do and where they are supposed to. Since it is two polling stations, the issue was some of them will be in a particular queue. By the time they get to the end, their name is supposed to be the other side. So we educated them that the, those with names starting from A to C are supposed to be at the station A. Then those whose names start from D to Z uh, join the queue that is in station B. And so far, so good. How many voters are expected to vote here? All right. At the A, we have 383 voters. Then at the B, we have 382 voters. Has there been any challenge here, misunderstanding, anything with security? No, the security is superb. They were here even before 5 o'clock. We came to meet them here. And I think they are positioned in such a way that they, they are not intimidating anyhow. So I think the security-wise is very, very good. There is no challenge so far, as I indicated earlier on, that the only challenge is because the police station has been divided into two. Some will join the other queue, but the two presiding officers have communicated with the people who are voting that when somebody joins the queue, and he's about to vote, and he find out that he's at that police station, we communicate with them, and the process continues. Yes, so there's no challenge so far. Thank you very much. Medinde. Mr. Mankra, Mr. Enya Haya, Jumanu Zoe Bayano, Police for Ne, Letter Commission Bayano, Omni Year, Jumanu Pepe, Pesene, Etienne, BBNC, Ubian, Ubiahe, and the Adiahu Kakran at Abano. And then I'll show up for the Amoka Casa at Abano. Eh, Madam, you are bred for almost four years in it. You need MP, and Tim Punto be a mass in all for her. And your quenya basa is a show be your bedi and mamma and pun to a coswa. I say, Dianho can be you be. And until you may Dianho can to Sabano. Yes, Mr. Damas. MP for Aoutu Senior West and Central Region. How has the process been as you observe? I think it's been it's been okay so far. As you see, this place is a bit noisy because it's a cluster of about three stations. There's a, a roller working on the road. I don't know why it's working at this time. Just to create noise. 
you know, the equipment all over. This is not the time to do roadworks, you know, a concrete mixing machine and everything. But as you can see, people are quite um, excited and there's quite a lot of uh, uh, anticipation, I think. Anticipation. What, what would you say about the enthusiasm of the, of the voters? I think, I feel, I feel it. You can see everybody is, you know, uh, coming here, some coming here, they are standing, checking where their polling stations are. Because like I said, it's a cluster. So um, they want to be sure where exactly they have to go and vote and all that. So I think it's okay so far. Have you seen any challenge? Has there been any challenge that's important? Not, nothing that is that significant, yes, yes. People just want to know where exactly to go. Some people may not be that literate, so they just want someone to help them. That's what they want to do. Thank you very much. How long are you this Thank you very much. I came, oh, for about four days. But I came about two weeks ago. I came earlier to move in the communities, do some campaign. And then I went back to, because we are sitting, so we have to combine sitting with coming to help our colleague, uh, Honorable Jachi Kwesen, out. We pray, we pray for them. Good, his chances are very good. We pray for the best. I think that justice must be served. And I think Ghanaians are discerning enough to know when some people are going overboard and showing excessive vindictiveness. And I think that the Ghanaian voter today knows what time it is. Um, I'm Bernard Blackie Force and the presiding officer for Aquamfede DA Primary 1. And so far the voting has been smooth. We arrived here on time around 5.30 to arrange our items. And we started voting on seven, at 7 o'clock on the dot. We started voting so far. We've had about 55 voters. Um, 26 of them being males and 27 of them being females. And we've also given the opportunities to those who are um, disability challenged to also have their way to vote. So, so far the voting has been smoothly and everything is okay with us at Akonfide. How many are expected to vote here? We are expecting about 326 voters, that's registered, uh, registered voters, yes. Okay. Any challenges so far? So far, we've not received any challenge so far. It has been smoothly. No complaints? No complaints. The only thing is that there are three police stations here. So some of them would come. If they come and their names are not here, then we direct them to the next police station. That's the only um, thing we are encountering now. Thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Patricia PJ, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Asukwa. And uh, I'm here to support the or monitor the process. And uh, I have I'm monitoring the process around the Confederate area. How has uh, it been? So far, I don't. I think it's so good. It has been very peaceful. People are in the queue, quietly waiting and voting uh, uh, when it comes to their turn. And I don't think that I've observed anything on tour. Uh, the currently, the challenge that I've met is just about some few minutes ago when uh, an old lady was being assisted to vote. And uh, it was being assisted by the sun, that's the information I get. But I think uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing to complain about. But so far, I think it's been so peaceful. What about security? Uh, the security presence, obviously. Uh, I think uh, currently, it is very important that we ensure or assure everybody is safe and to vote. I don't think the, the security personnel are being antagonistic, you know. They are just existing to ensure that there is peace. As the peace uh, officer's name is uh, attributed to them, so far they have not been antagonistic. And I think uh, it hasn't posed as a threat to any voter at all. How long have you been here in the conference? Uh, 
no, I came in this morning because I had other challenges over the weekend. Came in this morning, purposely to How is the chances of being? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the voting has started. If I had come out and uh, I knew exactly what was happening around, one of the things that I could have said was uh, uh, give you a prediction. But as it is now, I cannot predict what what will happen. But I know people are voting and they are very positive that a change will come. How, how do you look at the enthusiasm of the voters? I see them uh, quiet. They are, been, uh, they are enthusiastic, you know. Even those that I met that were not ready uh, to vote, they told me that they are definitely going to come in the afternoon because they believe it's going to be quiet. By that time, there will be no queues and they will actually be moving around. So that is it. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs>